In this video we're going to demonstrate how to create, manage and edit the required disclaimer shown in the footer on almost every page of your website. We'll also introduce the means upon which to register your credit guide link on your website that will automatically attach itself to your footer disclaimer. The disclaimer and credit guide link is a small part of your website's digital compliance framework. You should reference other videos that details the privacy terms and disclaimer pages, the landing page disclaimers, the dispute resolution page and your footer association logos. The footer disclaimer is required on every page and it normally references the limitations on advice and information made available on your website and we're required by law to provide a comparison warning particularly since we show and render lender product data everywhere. Find the footer disclaimer in the back pages menu within the WordPress module. Select website disclaimer. We're taken to a page that provides a generic template ready for editing. Your website is delivered with a disclaimer in place so we'll select the review panel and select the previously created disclaimer. You may review the disclaimer by selecting the green icon. In our case, we'll edit an existing disclaimer by selecting the edit icon. Once changes are made, select save. You may create as many disclaimers as required with more than one usually required when you have multiple websites. Once a disclaimer is created or edited, we're required to send that disclaimer to our website. Select the send panel, select your website and disclaimer and send. The updated policy is immediately made available on your website. A full record of all disclaimers is sent to your website and maintained for legislative compliance purposes. If we look at our website disclaimer once again, you'll note that we have a link to our credit guide at the end of the disclaimer text. The availability of your guide in Yabra is reliant on you uploading that document to your document manager. And another video introduces the method used to upload and maintain documents in Yabra's version control document library. We'll select the credit guide panel, select our website, select our guide from the available documents and define our anchor text. And the anchor text being the text that links to our document. Once your credit guide is sent to your website, it will be referenced in the footer alongside your disclaimer and it will be made available in a number of other locations. Whenever you update your guide in the version control document manager, all occurrence of the credit guide link will automatically update. The credit guide link is a trackable link. Not unlike all downloads, we record around 20 data points associated with the user when an item is downloaded. We may optionally apply marketing triggers to the credit card download, although this is a slightly more advanced feature associated with an escalated funnel. See our video on triggers and advanced funnels for more information. You should reference BLEARN on the multiple ways of returning the credit guide to your website. The footer logos is a very short video and demonstrates how you may apply the AFCA, MFAA, FBAA and other logos and optional links into your footer. If you have any issues, specific feature requests or you identify any bugs, please let us know.